let me present to you musical milk. Musical milk, I mean, for me, it made sense, right? Musical milk? I'm sorry, Marcus, musical milk. You're on a farm, you want to create really good milk, you should bring in classical musicians. Marcus's musical milk was sort of similar to my idea in that it's all about calming the animals so they have a higher milk production. But having a string quartet in the middle of a field seems a little bit unrealistic, if you ask me. Are you gonna have those people come every day for the cows? Like, what is your business plan here that you're actually trying to sell? Like, I have a vision here. This is my branding idea, Max Silvestri's carton-free pillow eggs. The slogan is, they're a mouthful. I'm still confused about Max. I still don't understand what Max did, I don't. I wanted to deliver eggs straight from the bottom of the chicken to the table. I mean, it's just sort of a chicken hole to table concept. <laughs> I can't talk about this, it's so crazy. Carton-free eggs, you could sell that. Like the idea of like these eggs are treated with respect, it's like real. If I were to take distilled water and infuse it with cucumber, lavender, pineapple, citrus to feed to the sheep, I really believe that they would then produce better quality milk and we could make cheese. Their milk will taste better. It will be infused with all these beautiful ingredients. And then when you make cheese, your cheese will taste better. You can upsell it by at least 50%, make more money, and everyone's gonna buy it, because how good does that sound? I kinda like Gail's concept, but musicals, come on. You can't top that.